Dwarfism is a genetic disorder that results in a short stature and other health abnormalities. Many people don't know that dwarfism affects the animal kingdom as well and can lead to some interesting looking animals. Let's take a look at the top 15 most unusual dwarf animals. Number 15. The Brocasia Micra As far as little lizards go, few are as tiny as the Brocasia Micra, endemic to Nosy Bay, which is an island located off the northwest coast of Madagascar. It was discovered as recently as 2012, and thus little is known about this pint-sized species. Regardless, it's considered to be one of the smallest reptiles in the world, and at a length of just 29 millimeters, it's about the size of an ant and is tiny enough to fit on the head of a match. However, it's reportedly very sensitive to deforestation, and experts believe that its population may be on the decline. Therefore, on our end, we just hope that these cute little critters remain unbothered for the foreseeable future. Number 14. The Pygmy Blue Whale As far as dwarf animals go, the pygmy blue whale is a great example of how even the largest of creatures can have the smallest of relatives. Found throughout the Pacific and Indian Oceans, they are considered by many to have a tadpole-like shape and are believed to number at around 10,000 individuals worldwide. However, to the disappointment of many, they may not seem so small at first glance. After all, considering that they come in at about 21 meters long and weigh about 90 tons, they're actually certainly larger than you might expect. Yet when you consider that closely related blue whale is about 50% larger and nearly 200% heavier, it's easy to see that pygmy blue whales are pint-sized in comparison. Number 13. The Pygmy Cormorant When it comes to small birds, the pygmy cormorant really stands apart. That's because with a length of about 50 centimeters and a weight of under a kilogram, they're about half the size of regular cormorants and are typically found throughout southeastern Europe and southwestern Asia. Interestingly enough, they are a species of seabirds that typically live near open waters, and they're often found either near swamps or close to other flooded crop areas. As a result, due to the fact that they require wetlands to survive, their populations have been dramatically affected in recent years, because said wetlands have been continuously drained for agricultural purposes. However, with a population of about 85 to 180,000 individuals worldwide, they still have quite a way to go until they're considered an endangered species. Number 12. The Pygmy Tarsier As far as monkeys go, few are as tiny or as cute as the Pygmy Tarsier, endemic to the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. It generally can be found in the lower canopy among the trunks of saplings and on the forest floor. It's notable for being the world's only completely carnivorous primate as it feasts almost exclusively on a combination of insects and arthropods such as spiders. Now, Regarding their size, they truly are tiny, at a length of less than 10 centimeters and a weight of just a few grams. These pint-sized primates really do stand apart. Interestingly enough, this small size perhaps contributed to the fact that the pygmy tarsier was thought to have gone extinct for decades, for after being discovered in the late 1920s, it eluded scientific observation for about 80 years. However, in 2000, a deceased specimen was found inside of a trap, and in 2008, four live ones were encountered, with three being captured and fitted with radio collars in order to track their movements upon release. Thus, as time goes on, hopefully we will be able to learn a lot more about this incredibly tiny tarsier. Number 11. The Miniature Horse While the majority of horses are large, strong animals that could easily outpace and overpower a human, there exists a miniature breed of horse that goes completely against this norm. Although not limited to one species, they typically come in at less than one meter tall and are generally created via selective breeding from their handlers. Generally, these horses are bred to be friendly and docile with humans, and thus they're often seen at petting zoos and horse shows, and oftentimes even end up living as pets inside of family homes or as service animals for the disabled. However, it shouldn't come as a surprise that all of this has stirred up a lot of controversy over the years. That's because despite the fact that miniature horses are very cute and can often be trained to be good pets and service animals, their small stature means that they have a higher risk of health problems down the line, with this being especially true for miniature horses with dwarfism. Yet so long as demand for these miniature horses remains, they will likely continue to be bred for the foreseeable future. Number 10. The Borneo Pygmy Elephant While most people imagine elephants as being massive giants, there exists a species of miniature elephant that flips this assumption on its head. Known as the Borneo Pygmy Elephant, these creatures are endemic to the Indonesian island of Borneo, and scientists believe that the animals split from the much larger Asian elephant about 300,000 years ago. 
and although they may be quite large by human standards, at a height of about 2 meters and a weight of about 2,500 kilograms, they are significantly smaller than their full-size counterparts. However, they have the unfortunate distinction of not only being small in size, but small in numbers. That's because largely thanks to both habitat loss due to clear-cutting of rainforests and illegal hunting at the hands of snare traps, there are only about 1,500 individuals left, with their population not showing any signs of recovery. As a result, if these elephants are to survive far into the future, the World Wildlife Fund suggests the implementation of sustainable forest management for timber production. Since elephants can survive and breed in natural forests that are selectively logged. However, if this can't be attained, then we may very well lose these great animals sooner rather than later. Number 9. The Cozumel Raccoon When you think of a raccoon, a large nocturnal creature digging through your trash is probably what comes to mind. However, on the coast of Mexico, there's a raccoon that's a lot smaller than you would probably see roaming your city streets. Known as the Cozumel Raccoon, they are endemic to Cozumel Island in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and typically measure in at a length of about 75 centimeters and a weight of just 3 or 4 kilograms. They are generally found in the mangrove forests and sandy wetlands in the northwest tip on the island, and their diet primarily consists of crabs, fruit, frogs, lizards, and insects. However, thanks to the massive uptick in tourism in recent years, the Cozumel raccoon stands apart for being one of the only species on this list that is critically endangered, as there's only about 250 to 300 individuals left on the island. Yet despite this disturbing stat, the Mexican government has virtually no laws in place to protect them, and at this rate, their survival seems to be in imminent danger. As a result, unless conservation groups are able to work with the tourism industry to limit deforestation in the northwest tip of the island, these cute creatures are likely just a few years away from disappearing forever. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Pygmy Rabbit We think you'll agree with us in saying that the Pygmy Rabbit is certainly one of the cutest animals out there. Found throughout the Columbia Basin, which is located in the northwestern United States, these little creatures generally like to live in areas on deep soils with tall, dense sagebrush, as they can use these geographical features for both shelter and food. Now, in regards to size, they generally come in at just a quarter of a meter long and 500 grams in weight, making them much tinier than many of their full-size counterparts. Yet this size means they are unsurprisingly the target of many forest creatures, with weasels, coyotes, red foxes, badgers, and great horned owls being some of their principal predators. However, one thing that they've borrowed from their regular-sized relatives is the ability to reproduce quickly. After all, these rabbits have the capability to mate after just one year of age and can produce about three litters of six young ones per year. As a result, despite being prime prey for many, it's unlikely that their population will ever dip to dangerously low levels. Number 7. The Pygmy Marmoset While monkeys come in all shapes and sizes, one of the smallest of them all is the Pygmy Marmoset. Found throughout the Amazon forest, it measures in at just 100 grams in weight and about 300 millimeters in length, making it the true definition of tiny. Interestingly enough, it's known for using its extremely sharp claws and teeth in order to gnaw away at tree bark, where it uses its tongue to consume its very specialized diet of tree gum. Additionally, the pygmy marmoset also tends to travel in groups, with most having anywhere from two to nine members. However, despite these little guys having strength in numbers, their docile nature has made them a prime target of exotic pet collectors, who can easily sell and ship them worldwide due to their small size. In fact, reports indicate that the demand for them is quite large, many going for as much as $1,000 to $4,000 on both legal and illegal markets. To make matters worse, they're also heavily affected by deforestation, as the loss of trees in an area can mean the complete destruction of their main food source. Therefore, we just hope that humans don't lead to the eventual demise of these cute little creatures. Number 6. The Pygmy Rattlesnake While many of the animals on this list may seem relatively docile, the Pygmy Rattlesnake proves how even the smallest of animals can pack a potent punch. Found throughout the southeastern United States, it has three very similar subspecies, with all of them coming in at just half a meter long. They're generally found in a variety of habitats and prefer to feast on small animals, such as insects, frogs, lizards, and mice. However, what really sets them apart is their venomous bite. Now, thankfully for us humans, its small size means that it's unable to produce much venom, and as a result, a bite from one would not likely be fatal for an adult. 
yet that doesn't mean it can't cause excruciating pain, as due to its venom being a cytotoxin, which means that it attacks one's cells. Its bite has been known to keep people hospitalized for several days and has even been reported to lead to necrosis. As a result, despite these little guys seeming innocent enough, we highly suggest that you keep your distance from them if you ever encounter one in the wild. Number 5. The Pygmy Hippopotamus When you think of a hippo, chances are you envision a massive animal that wades through the waters of the African continent. And while this may be true of the common hippopotamus, it turns out that this animal has a little-known dwarfed cousin known as the Pygmy Hippopotamus. Found throughout the swamplands of West Africa, it comes in at a relatively stout length of 1.5 to 1.75 meters, and a height of about 1 meter, and a weight of anywhere between 180 to 275 kilograms, making it about as half as tall and only a quarter of the weight of a regular hippo. They stand apart from their larger counterparts due to their stubby legs, less pronounced nostrils and skull, and more docile nature. They also tend to spend a little bit less time in the water, and as a nocturnal animal, they can often be found wide awake and active in the West African bush at night. Yet it seems that this smaller size may not be to their benefit, as they are also significantly more endangered than their large counterparts. In particular, they are being most threatened by a loss of habitat due to local logging and the conversion of rainforests into farmland. And in Liberia in particular, they are often hunted due to them reportedly having very high quality meat. As a result, there are only about 3,000 of them left in the wild, with their populations not showing any signs of increasing. Yet their one saving grace is that they reportedly breed well in captivity, with about 350 healthy specimens currently being found in zoos and sanctuaries worldwide. Therefore, we hope that with increased conservation efforts, these pygmy hippos will be able to one day make a comeback. Number 4. The Pygmy Three-Toed Sloth it goes without saying that the sloth has captured the hearts of many across the world. Slow and docile, it truly is the epitome of laziness, with many species of the animal going for days with almost no movement. However, even among these slow-moving mammals, there exists a variant that is pint-sized in comparison to the rest, known as the pygmy three-toed sloth. This animal is found exclusively on Isla Escudo de Varaguas, which is a small island off the coast of Panama. First described in a scientific journal in 2001, it primarily can be found amongst the island's red mangroves, typically comes in at just a half a meter long, and weighs in at just 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms. Its behaviors are also not much different than that of a typical sloth, as it spends as many as 15 to 20 hours per day in trees, and moves at an extremely slow speed of 0.24 kilometers per hour. Interestingly enough, it's thought that the fact that it's so small complements these characteristics, as it reduces its energy requirements for survival and reproduction. Yet due to its relatively new discovery, a lot of the specifics surrounding this animal's habits beyond what we've listed are still unknown. However, what has been well documented is the fact that the pygmy sloth is on the brink of extinction. In fact, it's in such a bad spot that it's thought that only 79 are left in the world, with timber harvesting and human settlement believed to be the greatest factors contributing to its demise. As a result, unless some major actions are taken to reverse its downward population spiral, pygmy sloth may be wiped off the face of the planet sooner rather than later. Number 3. The Pygmy Seahorse As far as seahorses go, pygmy seahorse variants, which are found throughout the world's oceans, are the champions of disguise. After all, with an average height of just a couple of centimeters, these cute creatures use their size and extreme camouflage to go about their lives almost completely unnoticed. Interestingly enough, apart from their size, pygmy seahorses have two main features that distinguish them from regular sized seahorses, with the first being that they have a single gill opening on the back of their head instead of two on the sides, and the other being that the males brood their young in a pouch on their trunk. Yet of them all, it's the Sautomi's pygmy seahorse that really stands apart. That's because this species holds the distinction for being the smallest pygmy seahorse in the world, coming in at an astoundingly small height of just 11.5 millimeters. Thought to be located throughout Southeast Asia, Satomi seahorse was first found by Satomi Onishi off the coast of Derowan Island in Borneo in 2008. It's known to be a nocturnal seahorse that congregates in groups of three to five individuals and tends to stay near coral walls in order to get cover from its potential predators. Identified by a small black dot between the eye and the snout and orange filaments and markings on the back, tail, and chin, they are truly one of the most incredible creatures out there. As a result, it should come as no surprise that in 2009 it was awarded with the honor of being one of the top 10 new species by the International Institute for Species Exploration. 
Number two, mini pigs. Although many of the animals on this list are rather cute, mini pigs stand apart due to them being often kept as pint-sized pets. Often marketed as teacup pigs, a mini pig is typically a regular species of pig that has been crossbred, inbred, and at times underfed in order to reach a miniature size. According to the American Mini Pig Association, this classification covers any pig that is between 35 to 50 centimeters tall and weighs less than 160 kilograms. To put this into perspective, this means that a mini pig will often grow to be as tall as a border collie and as heavy as a St. Bernard, despite the fact that they often start their lives being smaller than a chihuahua. As a result, many novice pig owners are ill-informed as to how their large mini pig can grow, as they believe they will stay their baby size forever. This is made worse by the fact that many unscrupulous pig breeders will often pawn off regular pigs as miniature, despite them having the potential to later grow to weigh in as much as one ton a few years down the line. Unfortunately, this size disparity problem doesn't even consider the fact that pigs aren't exactly meant to live in an urban environment. After all, they tend to like to forage around and will often tear through carpets, toys, and furniture regardless of whether you allow them to or not. Additionally, they also tend to make loud squealing noises which aren't great if you have neighbors that are just one wall apart. Yet worst of all, they often have massive appetites, meaning that feeding them can be a cost that isn't all that manageable. Therefore, despite the fact that mini pigs may seem like the perfect pet, we suggest doing your research before going ahead and purchasing one. Number 1. Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman Although owning a pet crocodile may seem a little bit crazy to the majority of us, there are many people out there who feel that they would be the perfect pet to show off to friends and family. And while the majority of these awe-inspiring creatures would likely maul a potential owner in a matter of minutes, one crocodilian that has gained a lot of traction in recent years is Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. Found throughout northern and central South America, these specimens are relatively small, as males typically grow to a maximum length of around 1.6 meters while females do not usually exceed 1.2 meters. A nocturnal animal, they primarily feed on fish, amphibians, small mammals, birds, crabs, and generally speaking, they're not considered to be an animal that is very threatened by human activity. Regardless, this doesn't mean that most experts don't consider them to be rather high-risk reptiles to keep as pets. This is because despite their small stature, they still have the potential to seriously injure you, as even the smallest of caimans have an extremely powerful bite. To make matters worse, they don't tend to bond well with humans, and thus will likely become more of a liability than a friendly buddy, no matter how much you train it. There's also the consideration that while most zoos and sanctuaries have ample space and facilities to care for one, the average urban home will not, as these animals need to be kept in large enclosures with lots of water in order to live a healthy life. And with that in mind, you must also consider that these creatures are a long-term commitment, as rather than live for 10 or 15 years as what a cat or dog, Dwarf caimans typically have lifespans of up to 60 years. When you then further consider that these crocs will often set you back hundreds of dollars in order to buy one, and will likely cost you thousands per year to properly feed and maintain, it becomes clear that while they may be cute, these little guys may not exactly be one of the best pets out there. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which dwarf animal you thought was the most unusual. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the notification button.